Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. I'm here to get this point across. I'll tell you why. It's just because. When the signs are Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. Today, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. And it involves personal security and something you should be thinking about. Something just kind of a light bulb went off my head yesterday when I installed this system. I went out and I bought this uh, uh, Eonin. I think I'm pronouncing it right. E-O-N-O-N. -O -N, Eonin. Uh, head stereo system kind of uh, fits perfectly. It's designed for the Mazda 3, which is the car I'm driving. And it's a perfect little plug-and-play system where I no wire cutting, nothing. The uh, driver control on the steering wheel work with it. It's a fantastic eight-core system. And th that's not really the, the, the highlight of the video. I'm actually going to be talking about the security because thousands upon thousands of you are going to bar start buying these Many people have already bought them already, but over the next year or two, I think more and more people are going to be upgrading because they finally got them down to where they're really, really good, especially the the, the, the multi-core system. There's a lot of cheap Chinese junk out there too, but you gotta, you got to be careful when you buy that, but I wouldn't waste my money. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll show you what it is and what it does. It pretty much does everything like a modern car would do. I've got, I got navigation in here. I'll punch that up here. There you can see a little map of uh, Vancouver. Oh, it's all touch screen. I've got, you know, a typical radio. I can video. Oh, here, watch this. I better mute this. Cause, yeah, I better mute this before I get the copyright strike. But anyway, that's, uh, I got concerts downloaded. That's, that's a Joe Cocker concert. Um, music, of course. You know, the typical stuff. Uh, Apple, CarPlay, Android Auto, all that typical stuff. Uh, a cool thing I like is the diagnostics. I can, I can run my, uh diagnostic stuff with my dongle that's plugged into the OBD email I got Outlook Gmail that's where when I was setting all this stuff up I realized hmm hmm what you got to do is you got to be careful first of all you know this is one of the banks I deal with Scotia banks one of the big banks here in Canada uh, at least my bank requires double authentication you do not they prodded me when i downloaded it do you want this to remember the password that is a stupid thing because here, here's what happens with cars cars go in for servicing sometimes other people drive your car you might even total it one day where one day you go to the hospital and your car goes to the junkyard and then the adjuster just sends you a check meanwhile you got this head unit in here that's got all your personal crap, and anybody could data mine it. They can go into your Outlook, your Hotmail, your Gmail, or any of that stuff. Pull up your 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 uh, your personal stuff, and uh, they could easily hack in to some of your personal matters and completely screw you over. So what I suggest you do if you get one of these head units, when you go to set it up with your your Google account or your Gmail, use a throwaway account. That's what I did. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to go home today. I'm actually just coming back from Vancouver. Um, I'm going to re uh, erase my Outlook account. I got a couple um, Hotmails. I'm old, of course. Lots of old people use Hotmail. I'm going to erase this completely because it's my backup authentication for a lot of stuff. Same with, you know, these head units come with, uh, uh, well, Netflix. Like, uh, who's going to watch a movie while you're driving? Um, <laughs> but you got uh, YouTube. For example, you don't want to have your your actual account that's attached to to YouTube on here, especially if you're a creator. So I got a throwaway account on here. Works great. Um, anyway, oh, if you're curious, um, you can actually put a SIM card in here and run this just like a cell phone. I'm just tethering it from my hotspot from my phone because I've got unlimited data. Uh, cool thing is here you can watch uh, watch TV I got live TV from Vancouver here on global global Vancouver it's kind of neat um, you're not actually supposed to watch video while you're driving in this jurisdiction like most jurisdictions but anywho Sugar, oh let's mute want? that anyway so if you buy one of these units 
take my advice, don't have Google save any of your passwords, don't download any of your, uh, your Hotmail or Gmail or any email accounts that are used for authenticating anything. Create a bunch of BS accounts that are throwaways if you have to, um, just so you can activate it. And in the event that somebody gets a hold of your car, steals your car, services your car, or your car gets in an accident and this head unit winds up in a junkyard and somebody powers it up and realizes, hey, I can data mine enough stuff from their email accounts to maybe crack into their bank account, crack into their YouTube account, their, their AdSense account, or even create um, spammy you know, email scams where they can email your friends and family pretending to be you using your actual email accounts that other people expect you uh, to be you but in fact it isn't so something to be concerned with and I've seen a few people on YouTube talk about this but it's not talked about to the extent that I think it should be and let's face it people are putting these things in everywhere they're putting them in their motor homes they're putting them in their do their cars and like I said this thing makes my car do everything that a new car can do I got you know, front camera back camera GPS um, and, and everything all hid under here my 4g antennas and GPS antennas are all hidden under there so install was super super clean and it was uh, really easy to put in as a matter of fact at least for this um, Mazda 3 so um, if you're considering buying one of these buy a good one make sure it's got you know, eight core processor and a lot of memory and uh, a lot of USB uh, out so that you can plug in all the extra goodies. Now, this is an Android 12. You, you Unfortunately, you can never update the Android system, meaning that if you got a 12, you're stuck with that. But, you know, you can always, as long as it's supported, there's always new apps and things you can do with it. Um, so, after pondering me hooking this up, I'm going to erase my Outlook account on here because last thing I want is somebody hacking in and causing me problems and I don't think you would want that either so a little tip and a safety point because uh, I got a feeling that as time goes by like most new cars are coming with these types of uh, devices now and people with older cars are upgrading just like I did so be very careful what you put on there and oh even on a sidebar which is also a security issue let's say you've got a boyfriend girlfriend uh child or whatever that borrows your car do you want them snooping around in your email accounts eh, probably not there might be something on there you don't want uh, your spouse significant other or your kids or your whoever to read so keep that in mind and what I would also suggest as a, a precaution let's say you're gonna send your car in for a paint job or some repairs it's gonna be in the shop for a day or two or a week or something why not just pull the fuse out of the damn thing and pretend it doesn't work and uh, that way nobody can get into anything you've got on here because this is essentially a computer with all your personal stuff on there if you set it up that way so don't do that don't set this up with all your personal accounts. Use throwaway accounts and make sure your bank, if you do have a bank um, app, don't even bother or make sure your bank has double authentication because last thing you want is somebody to get into your bank account. So just a few thoughts. And uh, I've only had this thing in maybe 20 hours. I put it in yesterday and it's, it's working fantastic. I got to put in the rest of the cameras. Um, they're all coming from Amazon. Oh, uh, how much was this? I paid about 400 Canadian dollars plus tax. Um, this exact model seemed to be cheaper in Canada. Um, I looked at some that were listed in the US, but when you converted the dollar, it was a slightly better deal, especially with the accessories that I ordered to buy it from Amazon Canada. But uh, your results may vary. So anywho, that's about it from here. And that's my tip of the day for security on these uh, Android head units. So hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you soon. Over and out.
got you, I got you.